Bom, pai. left in there, Pete. Alright, Jason Hollis Farms. Today, me and Pete are in the 16 Dodge. We, uh, I've been keeping the trailer under the shed, so it's really pretty clean. It's got quite a few bugs on the, uh, on the front. So, I'm gonna pull it up here real quick. The back's a little dusty. The sides are okay. Not being lazy, I just got a lot I need to do. So I wanna get these bugs off there and uh, wash the back, cause I want everybody to see that sticker on the back. And uh, then I'm on, I've been just sweeping the uh, inside out for a couple weeks. So I'm on a, a Put some soap and water inside the trailer today so a lot to keep up so it's kind of hard sometimes to get it all at one time but that's one reason i've been keeping it in the shed so it don't get so bad so we're gonna start uh i'm gonna get the outside first and then when we do the uh inside i'm gonna just leave the trailer door down for a little while and let it air out Thought I had the water on. I guess I didn't turn the water on. Alright, we got the water on now. It's not just too bad. We're gonna get these bugs out there. soap in a bucket today. I just put some in this pump up sprayer. I think it'll do what we're gonna do because that's what I want to hit on the inside anyway. Let it soften them bugs up a little bit. But we are gonna put a brush on this front and the back. Kind of bad just to wash the front and the back, but that's what we're finna do. Because that's what we want to do. I thought my camera was messing up, but it acts like it's still recording. Maybe it's all right. We'll see. Spurt a little soap on my, on my brush here and see if we can't get these bugs off. y'all we got the front shining i went ahead and sprayed the sides with the soap and rinsed them off needs a brush on it next time got the back shining real good 
I had to put Pete up just for a minute because I'm fixing to start working on this inside and he can't help it. He's going to be in there making a mess and tracking it up. So we'll wash this out real quick and then we'll get him back out. All right, y'all. So, like I said, I've got quite a few things I need to do today. So I'm not going to. I ain't making a mess off of my boots. Oh. I'm not going to unload the four wheeler and everything. I'm just going to rinse back here where the car's been and spray a little soap on it. And one day when we've got a little more time, we'll unload everything and get everything. Our feet's raising pain. He don't like getting in that box when I am working. Boy, it's one thing I like about this aluminum trailer. You just spray it. Like I said, this is not a major cleaning today, just kind of a quick cleaning and get it back halfway ready. y'all got most of it cleaned up pretty good like i said we lacked a little bit up front but i ain't got time to fool with that today we got some more stuff we gotta do not bad though not bad i might have to raise the door up and wash the back of the door off it always gets some uh, mud on it i think i'll uh i believe i'm gonna leave the door open for a little while and let it air up i'm just gonna put all my junk up for now we got another project we got to get on Alright y'all, here's what we're gonna do now for a little bit. The the yard is still pretty soft over here to get the tractor and stuff in, so got the steel chainsaw out. And I'm on at least I really don't feel like this project today. I'm not crazy about running a chainsaw. Just never been one of my things. But we're gonna at least get a bunch of it cut up so when it does dry out, oh, um, we can bring the John Deere 5065 over here and haul all the limbs off. That ain't going to be too bad a project. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm ending up with a pretty good hole here. I'm probably going to end up cutting this tree off here and just standing it back up. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but at least it'll fill the hole back up. We'll just see how it works when we get there. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay on this saw today or how good it's gonna cut. I can't remember how sharp the chain is. I had to look at it. I may have a new one, but I'm gonna whack on it and may, I ain't gonna 
worry too much about this project, but we're gonna get it done eventually.
y'all so here's what i think i'm gonna have to do walking around out here it is still pretty soft and i don't want to make a mess with the tractor and have to fix that so i can cut grass but later on this afternoon some of that out there right by the drive i'm making guilt before i can before i can cut anymore i'm gonna have to drag some of this stuff that i've cut out of the way and haul it off but we got started anyway chainsaw running good cutting pretty good so but it is almost lunch time so me and pete may be finna get us something to eat we'll be back all right y'all so here's what's for lunch the other night when we grilled we grilled a bunch of extra burgers and i just put them in the refrigerator warm them up got a few fritos bottle of water trying to cut back on so much bread especially lunch time and stuff so that's what me and Pete's Pete's fitting to eat these two burgers and some scoops just a super big day today got the outside of the trailer cleaned up pretty good the inside of the trailer clean cut the tree at the brown house up just a little bit and hauled a little bit of it off and me and pete has got some more stuff we got to go do so anyway y'all like our stuff subscribe to us hollis farms hats t-shirts and stickers hollisfarms.com appreciate y'all watching out of here